Okay, uh, let's look at uh, section 8.4. This section talks about properties of equivalence classes. All right, so here is uh, the first uh, property, property 1. All right, so uh, let's say uh, R is an equivalence relation on a non-empty set A. If uh, element A and B is in set A, then if the equivalence, uh, equivalence class represented by A and the equivalence class represented by B are equal to each other if and only if A is related to B. Right? So since this is an if and only if statement, we have to do um, um, prove uh, both implications. Right? So let's do that. All right? First, we try to uh, write a proof for this implication. So we assume that, that these equivalence classes are equal to each other, then um, A and B are related to each other. All right, so let's do that. All right, so line one. All right, so we start with this assumption. So we assume We assume that uh, equivalence class represented by A and the equivalence class represented by B are equal to each other. All right. Then uh, we want to show that the A is related to B. All right. So uh, two. All right. Since uh, we know that uh, A is uh, related to itself. Uh, because uh, equivalence relation must be reflexive. So this is a reflexive. Oh, reflexive. Reflexivity. We know that uh, A is related to itself. All right, so since A is related to A, so A is an element of the uh, equivalence class represented by A. So uh, we know that uh, A is an element of the equivalence class represented by A. All right, so that comes from 2 and the definition of uh, equivalence class. All right, then uh, 4, All right? Since uh, equivalence class represented by A is the same as equivalence class represented by B, of course, uh, A is going to be also in equivalence class represented by B, All right? So this is, I'm using, um, you know, a 3 and uh, 1 combined, or maybe I should say, uh, line number one combined with line number three. All right, so our next line would be, all right, by definition, since A belongs to the equivalence class of B, so by definition, A is related to B by this relation, all right? So maybe I'll do that, and this is just coming from line 4. All right, so that's a proof of this direction, All right? So we have to do the uh, proof of the other direction, All right? So we start with uh, number 1, All right? So we have to assume that the A is related to B. So we assume... that A is related to B by the relation R. All right? All right, so uh, let's, um, we have to show this uh, equality. So this is equality between two sets, and I'm going to do uh, element chasing, so two. All right? So uh, let's try to show first, try to show that, um, you know, uh, equivalence class of A, 
is a subset of biequivalence class represented by B. Then uh, we do the other uh, containment. So we want to show that the equivalence class represented by B is a subset of the equivalence class represented by A. Right? So element chasing. So we're going to say choose any element, say X, in uh, e equivalence class represented by A. Right, so this is uh, given. Oh, okay, I forgot to write that this is a given condition. So given. Right, uh, this is a given for element chasing. Right, uh, element chasing. Right. All right, so uh, if you know that, then if X is, uh, belongs to this uh, equivalence class, we know that um, X is, must be related to A by this relation. All right, then, um, so X is relate, uh, related to A, all right? Then we can do a transitive um, condition. So combining, uh, so this was uh, from number two, right? If uh, X is related to A and A is related to B by this relation, then X is related to B uh, using transitivity. So uh, four would be uh, X is related to B by this relation. So we are combining uh, line number one and line number three and uh, use, using the transitivity. All right, so we have that. All right, then we know that the when X is related to B by definition, so we can say Right, x is x belongs to right the equivalence class represented by B. Right, so that comes from four. Right, so by element chasing, uh, we could show that uh, let's say line six. We know that uh, everything in A ends up in uh, in the equivalence class represented by B. So um, equivalence class represented by A is a subset of by equivalence class represented by B, right? So this is by element chasing. So I'll just say element uh, chasing, right? So we're going to do the other one. So uh, let's see, seven. We're going to choose any element X from the equivalence class represented by B. All right, so this is again uh, given for element chasing. Right, and eight. All right, so uh, so X is belongs to A, so which means that the X has to be related to B by this relation. All right, All right. Then uh, since uh, uh, so this comes from seven, and uh, since. Uh, Equivalence relation is uh, symmetric. If A is related to B, then B is related back to A. So it's 9. Uh, we know that uh, B is related to A. Right? 
right? So we're using the fact that A is related to B, so that's line number one, and that we're using a symmetry. All right, then next line. All right, then we can use the transitivity. If X is related to B and a B is related to A, then we can say X is related to A by this relation, R. All right, so I'm using line number 8 and line number 9 and the transitivity. Trans all right all right so which means that uh, number 11 all right I'm running out of space but uh, X is X belongs to the equivalence class represented by a so just coming from line number 10 all right then number 12 Right, which means that uh, by element chasing, we know that uh, equivalence class represented by B is a subset of equivalence class represented by A. Right, so this is by element chasing. All right, so we could establish the mutual containment. Line 6 says that the A is a subset of, a, you know, equivalence class of B. And the equivalence class represented by B is a subset of equivalence class represented by A. So the last line would be combining those two. We know that the equivalent, those equivalence classes are actually identical. So I'm just combining 6 and uh, line number 12. All right, so that's the conclusion that uh, we are looking for. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.